as the Queen's representative in Nova Scotia, I am honored and delighted to bring you greetings on our National Day of Celebration, Canada Day. A titre de représentant de Sa Majesté la Reine en Nouvelle-Écosse, je suis honoré et ravi de vous transmettre mes salutations à l'occasion de notre Journée nationale de célébration, la Fête du Canada. Normally, uh, Patsy and I would attend Canada Day celebrations and a cake cutting ceremony at the Halifax Citadel National Historic Site. However, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, this annual ceremony has been cancelled. Nevertheless, I wish to bring you greetings on this very special day. The past three and a half months have been an unprecedented time in Nova Scotia, Canada, and indeed the whole world. In Nova Scotia, other tragic events have paralleled and overshadowed the pandemic. Unfortunately, these very sad happenings seem to have occurred one after the other. And this province has not experienced anything of this nature, not since the Halifax explosion of 1917 and the Sp Spring Hill and Westray mining disasters. Notwithstanding this barrage of tragic events, Nova Scotians have demonstrated their resiliency, which has created a sense of unity and solidarity. I was amazed to see the many gestures of support uh, through the proud display of our provincial and national flags and Nova Scotia tartan was emblazoned everywhere. In uh, this period of social distancing and isolation, uh, these gestures offered comfort to those who needed support and lifted the spirit of all of our citizens. Uh, these gestures proclaimed and proved we are Nova Scotia strong. I have also been very impressed with how people found ways to continue to volunteer and support the more vulnerable members of society. Despite the impact of the pandemic on their own lives, people develop innovative ways to volunteer and provide assistance to those in need. It is uh, the spirit of volunteerism, generosity, and resilience in the face of adversity that characterizes Nova Scotians and the citizens of Canada. It is this national character that makes Canada one of the best countries in the world. It is uh, this national character that we celebrate on Canada's 153rd birthday. Allow me to add that while Canada is a wonderful and diverse country, we still have a way to travel to become a truly inclusive society. It is up to each of us as citizens to make an effort to realize this goal, and we must not become complacent or ignorant of the effort that has yet to be made. Our reward for creating a diverse and inclusive society is a peaceful and dynamic existence amongst the citizens of this amazing nation. Although uh, the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms provides that we are all equal before and under the law, and that we have the right to equal protection and benefit of the law without discrimination based on race, nationality, ethnic origin, color, religion, sex, age, or mental or physical disability, we can all take positive steps to assure that this can become uh, the reality for all Canadians. Despite uh, my forefather having arrived here over 350 years ago in what is now known as Nova Scotia, I do not have a greater entitlement as a Canadian citizen than the last person who swore the oath of allegiance to become a citizen of Canada. A cette fête du Canada, n'oublions pas que nous avons 
beaucoup de choses dont nous pouvons être reconnaissants. Alors que nous nous arrêtons pour célébrer notre pays et ses réalisations. Comme nous émergeons lentement de la pandémie, prenons le temps de reconnaître que nous avons un avenir brillant, pacifique et prospère. Patsy et moi vous souhaitons tous une bonne fête du Canada. On Canada Day, let us remember that we have much to be grateful for as we pause in celebration of our nation and its achievements. As we slowly emerge from the pandemic, let us appreciate that we have a bright, peaceful, and prosperous future. Patsy and I wish you all a very happy Canada Day. Welly, Canada we nachwek. Thank you. Merci. Welly, yeah.